United States along with 60 other nations release the declaration for the future of the internet. TikTok launches a new ad solution called TikTok Pulse that places your ad right next to a top performing TikTok clip and also includes advertising revenue sharing models. Meta announces a long-term research initiative that focuses on artificial intelligence and human language processing. All this and much more coming up in this week's edition of the Connected Church News with me, Nachi Lazarus. Welcome. This is the show that brings you the top five digital, social and Web3 news that you need to know right now in just five minutes. Let's get started. The United States released a declaration on April 28, 2022 called a Declaration for the Future of the Internet. This is a declaration by the US along with the endorsements from 60 different countries, including UK, Australia, Canada, France, Spain, and many more. Now, this document and the declaration shows us how governments are actually thinking about the internet. So I highly recommend you download this short three-page PDF and uh, look at all the details. It talks about the promise of the internet, affordability, it talks about about connectivity, it talks about uh, you know freedom of speech, it talks about uh, governmental shutdowns of internet in certain, certain places. So these are policies and issues that could potentially impact the way you as a church or a ministry minister to people digitally in the days to come. So please have a look. If you find this five minute news video valuable and useful, I'm going to ask you to help us reach more church and ministry leaders like you by clicking the like button. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. If you've not yet subscribed to us or if you've not clicked the bell notification, highly recommend you do that because you will not miss any other news episode that we upload here every week. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next news item. TikTok announced last week that they are releasing a new advertising solution called TikTok Pulse. TikTok Pulse is a program that lets you take your TikTok ad and place it right next to the top performing TikTok video in a specific category. For example, they've got 12 categories. You can choose one of those categories, including gaming or fashion or anything like that. And you can uh, take your ad and place it right next to the top 4% of TikTok videos in that category, which means uh, TikTok is ensuring that they are giving you the most exposure with respect to the audience uh, who are watching uh, the top content on TikTok. So it could be an interesting option for you as a church or a ministry to check out. And they're also uh, talking about a revenue sharing option with the creators, uh, similar to what YouTube is also doing. We will link to all these details in the show notes. Meta made an announcement last week about their long-term research research initiative on the artificial intelligence domain that focuses on human language processing. Uh, what they're doing is they're taking the human brain and they are uh, analyzing the way the human brain works with respect to languages and language processing. And they're using that to make the AI and their machine learning system more capable and smarter. Now they are collaborating with organizations like Neurospin, Indria uh, to compare language models with uh, brain responses of the human brain. So uh, this is a fascinating uh, area in the technological development. And uh, if you've been following me, you know, I'm very interested in this space because we as churches and ministries, we are the word people. So anything with technology and language is important for us to know and understand because this could impact the way we communicate to our audience in the days to come using digital and social media, especially when companies like Meta are involved. Last week, TechCrunch reported that Pinterest has quietly launched a live streaming app for its platform called Pinterest TV Studio. As the name says, uh, the uh, app is meant for live streaming to act as a like a TikTok like an interface for Pinterest uh, platform. So if your audience are on Pinterest, then this is an app that you might want to keep an eye on. Right now, it seems like it's only for select users because it asks for a code to enter the app, but eventually they should be rolling it out to the wider public. And if your audience are on Pinterest, then as a ministry, live streaming is one of the best ways to reach any audience on the platform and especially uh, uh, using a dedicated app that the platform itself provides, which usually helps in the algorithmic advantage. So uh, keep track of this news and Pinterest usually make their announcement on their Twitter handle. So that might be something worthwhile watching out for. 
Twitter made a couple of announcements last week about Twitter Spaces that could be useful if you use Twitter Spaces for Ministry. If you're not yet using Twitter Spaces for Ministry, I highly recommend you check it out because it is a, a platform that's absolutely exploding with action, lots of opportunities for ministries, churches, and nonprofits. And uh, the announcement says that uh, they are bringing uh, Twitter Spaces analytics to iOS and Android for both the hosts and the co-hosts. So both these people will have uh, analytics access with details about the live listeners, details about replays, speakers, and so on. The announcement also says that they are uh, making it easy for people to follow you after a space as event is over by uh, showing a list of co-hosts and speakers that people can follow right after the show. So this could also be very useful if you are doing a regular Twitter spaces show. Those were the top five news items I had for you this week. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you next week with another set of news items. Until then, you stay connected, stay blessed. God bless you. Bye-bye.